Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yusril and welcome to Scrub of the Arena. You know the rules by now, boys and girls. One hero from a choice of three 30 cards randomly picked from three cards each time. And as well lasts as long as you can get, this should be hilarious. So what have we got? Paladin, Priest or Shaman? Alright, well, I've done a lot of matches with Priest of late, so let's go for something a bit different. Mm, Shaman, I think. Why not? For Doomhammer indeed. Also for a bit of a laugh. So, what do we have? Light Warden. I use that in my Priest deck. Nice, and particularly if you can abuse your healing abilities because it ramps up. On the other hand, I don't have a guaranteed heal with my hero ability on this one, so... Well, let's have it anyway. Because if I start using healing totems and the like, it gets interesting. Now, what else do I have? Um... Bloodfen Raptor's a good turn three onwards attack creature. On the other hand, Cobalt Geomancer does offer me some spell damage. I'm just going to decide to build the deck that way and get some options. Let's go for the Raptor. Okay, Ancestral Healing, yes, please. That's an easy one. Totemic Might, likewise. Now, what else do we have? Could go for the Farseer. Two, two attacks each time. Could go for the Radiant Tampings Up. Grimscale Oracle is really only of use if you're going to unleash a Murgle Krieg. And since we're on an arena deck where I can't guarantee I'll get that many Murlocs, it's not really practical. Let's go for the fast here. And do I We'll go for the novice engineer at this point, just give me some early ramping up. Bloodlust is one of those handy, handy cards that allows you to suddenly ramp up a lot of very cheap characters. And an Argent Squire, just for a bit of durability. Right, so, Pint Size Sun, the first minion I play each turn costs one less, so if I want to pull out some expensive minions that's an option. Or whenever I cast a spell, bring in a 1-1 one, one dummy, or if I summon, deal 1 damage to a random enemy. He is, however, much cheaper. On the other hand, she is a 3-5. Well, if I run into a priest, I will suffer for having that because he will just shadow word pain her down. Now, what do we have? Uh, Ravenholt Assassin. Let's go with him just as something heavy. Earthshock's an easy tank counter just to get rid of Taunt. Or we could go for Dark Iron Dwarf. Again, that's another spell. On the other hand, that will synergize nicely with the Violet Teacher. Uh, do, 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 do. Harvest Golem just for the Death Rattle. Totemic might already have one of those, so we'll bring in a Gnomish Inventor instead. Uh, don't really want to have an Argent, an Ancient Boom Master rather. Argent Squire, again, I'm going to need to mix up with Bloodlust to get good effect out of it. So we'll go with the Jungle Panther. Hex, yes, please, that's a no brainer. And Bloodlust again. Where are we? 16 of 30 cards. I need to focus on creatures at this point. Whenever one of your other minions dies, draw a card. Mm. Slightly suicidal option there, but we'll go for the Magi instead as a solid 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Uh, Wolf Rider for the charge. Not really using damaging spells at this point. Iron Beak Hell again. That's a, another silence at my disposal. Uh, you know, I could have gone for a Murgle Krieg at this point. Right. Okay, Ancient Watcher can't attack 4-5. However, if you then silence it, that basically gives you a very cheap 4-5 at your disposal. Speaking of silence, we'll have another Iron Beak Owl on the job. Right, what else? A Frost of Warlord or a Stormforge Axe giving Thrall to attack. We'll stick with the Warlord, just get a lot of creatures out and get going. Whenever you play cards, Shattered Sun or, again, Suicide Cannibal deck. However, whenever a minion dies, it doesn't say friendly there. So, particularly if I want to go on a Blitz, that's an option. We'll have him. I'll have my second Hex, if you don't mind. And a second Wolf Rider for the charge. I really need some taunts at this point. Okay, uh, Wind Fury for a spell. Again, synergized with the... Violet Teacher, Ogre Magi, second time, 
Torrent Warrior, Taunt and Rage plus three attack. So that's a possibility. Rock Biter weapon could be used. Could be of use, but Divine Shield on the Silver Moon Garden, that's an improvised taunt, particularly if I can pull in, where is it, Ancestral Healing. You know, I could have gone for a Murgle Krieg at this point. <sighs> Battle cry, all minions lose Divine Shield, gain 3-3 three, three for each shield, loss, slightly suicidal deck. However, I do have several minions with Divine Shield. On the other hand, the Mountain Giant. Yeah. I really should have gone for a Murgle Krieg. Oh, what the hell. Let's go for the Giant. Uh, can't really back up at this point. It's a little late, so let's just play and get going. Wait, time 13. Oh, they've added that. We now have a timer handy. Do, 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 do. How'd you get that back? Uh, apparently you can't. Hey, now. Let us face our first worthy opponent. Bro, it's a mage. Oh, bollocks. You asked for it. Right, what do we have? Okay, uh, do, 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 do you know what? I'm going to stick with that and just go for turn one. We'll put the engineer out on turn two. And see what happens. Unless something comes up on turn one, in which case we'll just play as is now. No idea what we face, course. This is Arena. Wolf Rider. Okay, so that's just straight end term. So. And they've doubled up as well. Okay, we'll get the engineer out. And we pull up a jungle panther. Okay, that gives me several options for next turn. If I put the wolf rider out as a charge, I can go straight for some easy damage. It will, however, just get fire blasted off. Harvest Golem will have to wait a turn. Has to rely on her not having an ability to pull out a fireball or something. But on the other hand, I do get the death rattle. Okay, that's the predicted kill for the engineer, but she did do her job. Okay, the Mountain Giant, seven mana at the moment. Right, let's pull out the Jungle Panther to begin with. It's got stealth. I can blitz out Wind Fury and a Totem next turn. Follow that with Totemic Might if I get a taunt and just smack her for 8 damage in the face. Unless she has something available that will allow her to kill that. Something like, oh, I don't know, Frost Nova is a possibility. Okay, that's more interesting. That would actually kill the Jungle Panther in one turn if I'm not careful. On the other hand, I could go for the trade with the Wind with the Wolf Rider, but I would have to wait and I'd also have to sacrifice my stealth. So trading's a distinct possibility here. I'll lose stealth if I attack anyway, so I'll only get one burn out of the Wind Fury. Okay, let's just go for the trade and get rid of that dragon. Straight 1-1. One, one. Not ideal, but what the hell, and we will end the turn there, because I don't have the Wind Fury option just yet. Right, so next turn, Mountain Giant is going to be back down to 7, unless I start pulling up multiple cards. But, and here comes the Taunt, so... Okay, right, Iron Beak, Ow, just silence the Taunt, pull out a Totem, and then see what happens. So, get rid of the tank, like so, pull out a totem in defence, and what do we have? Restore one health to all friendly minions. Right, so, let's... <sighs> if I go for the Wind Fury, he will simply kill it, regardless of the healing. In fact, it'll die anyway. It's only a two health to three attacks. So that's not a point. Right. Um, again, we'll hold off at this point. Totem does nothing, but does leave him with an awkward choice. Okay, turn six. 
Right, well, bye bye out. And it also hits the panther. And then that's, well, at least he's wasted a couple of mana killing off the totem. That did its job. Did lose the owl, but again, it did the job as well. Right, let's go for the blitz. I think we need to start doing some damage. Right, so turn six, we will pull out Wind Fury. And boost it up. And then with the remaining four mana, let's get the Gnomish Inventor on the field. See what comes out. An Argent Squire, perfect. So smack once and smack twice. 22 health left. He'll have to kill that next turn. He can't really leave a Wind Fury for attack lying about at this stage. However, it will wipe most of his troll. Unless he decides to do something else. He could just go for Fire Blast, of course. Now, I can get the Mountain Giant out next turn, but that will be inviting a Polymorph. On the other hand, it is my big hitter and it will be out early. So, I think we can go with that. If we get Ancestral Healing, I can then really boost it up, turn it into a Taunt. Yep, there goes the Fire Blast. And he's still got four mana to play with, so let's see what he does. Come on, make your mind up. Okay, Water Elemental 3-6, again going for the smack. I'm going to have to start clearing his board. Right, okay. Do, 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 do. So, 8-8. Eight, eight. He can't wipe it, but he will have to pull out some other options. The other thing, of course, is Ravenholt Assassin. Damn it, okay, I'm going to hang on to that guy until I have Wind Fury to work with. So, Mountain Giant. There we go. And since we can't go for the kill on either of those, we will simply hit Jaina in the face for two damage. Pathetic, but there you go. So... Options next turn. If we just blitz out the rest of the low-cost creatures and force him to deploy Arrow of Effect. Okay, there we go. He's probably going to go for... Oh, there's a coin as well. What are you lining up? Okay, definitely blitz out the cheap stuff. Definitely need to blitz out the cheap stuff at this point. Right, so... We will get out... The Argent Squire. The light protects me. Now, if I pull Bloodlust on this turn, I can basically wipe out his two taunts. And then pull out a totem on top, which looks like the way to go. What do we have? A healing totem. Fine. Well, that's spectacularly useless. So, we will go for the boost. Bit of a desperation move here. Hey, Gnome commits suicide. Actually, no, Gnome survives. Uh, Mountain Giant, unfortunately, is going to be frozen next turn, but I really don't have any other options here. Okay, so seven damage each way. That, if he's got a fireball in that deck, I'm dead. It's as simple as that. <sighs> Fortunately, Pyroblast is up to 10 mana, so he can't just vape me with one card. Not that he'd have to. Come on. Come on, come on. Five and seven. You can take me down to six health. If you've got a fireball at your disposal, you can win this this turn. Apparently you don't. Interesting. And here comes the five. That's to eight. You can't deploy Pyroblast just yet. But So you're going to Fireblast and move the Divine Shield. Fine by me. I was going to go for a trade on that minion anyway. One down for all any minions. Okay, short and sweet. Where's your fireball? Come on, you've got a fireball to play with somewhere, I know it. Second water elemental. Okay, I am going to have to clear his deck. So, 
as I say, get the cheap stuff out. So we will start by taking out his water elemental. We'll pull out a random totem. Did I get the tanking totem? Did I balls? And then pull out the blood fen and the death rattle. And then probably concede the game because, frankly, I can't do anything to stop him killing me next turn. All he has to do is run the Rocketeer and the Elemental into me, and that is that. So, doom and gloom. Uh, have I just made a series of very bad deck choices? I do not know. It's somewhat annoying that I did not get a single tanking totem out of that, but... Hey, that's the luck of the draw. Also, I was somewhat foolish not to bring more taunt creatures along, but it's a little late to amend the deck at this point. Them's the breaks. No ancestral healing didn't help either. Here we go. Game two. Great. My other nemesis. Okay, going first. So we'll stick the Bloodlust back in reserve. Won't need that until we've got things really ramped up. Get a Gnomish Inventor instead. Well, Light Warden turn one. Jungle Panther turn two. You really need a reliable heal to get the most out of a Light Warden. Uh, okay. What do I have? Violet Teacher. Fine. Don't think Totemic Call counts as a spell, unfortunately. Anyway, we're not sure. Get, get the light one now. Hopefully it'll make him think I'm going for a healing heavy deck when I'm really doing nothing of the kind. Uh, right, what were we going? Corruption! Fine, well that's an interesting way, so I suppose I do get some free damage out of it. Die, 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 and then summon the totem. Well, that's completely useless, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so, turn three. We'll get the Jungle Panther out. Leave it in stealth until want? we need it. He then has a Frostwolf Grunt. And he's coining out. Lord knows what he's about to produce. Or has he just miscalculated? No. Flame Imp. Great. That is going to be awkward as balls to dispose of. So we will... Uh, the problem is with the panther is if I run it into the grunt, it'll die. Uh, well, let's just totem ag again, see what happens. Okay, so he could pretend... No, he won't really waste his tank doing it, but... Uh, Blast, 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 blast. I don't have much time on Shaman decks. This was a mistake. Right, there comes the hit. So that's one dealt with. And then he will probably just go for... What's he doing? Okay, I thought he was so that's one damage. Then he'll go for the kill on the taunt. And then smack me in the face with the imp. Great. Okay, options for this turn. Jungle Panther, I think, should really have pulled that out last turn. But at least... That gives me another turn of fishing in the deck for an option to get that thing up to three health somehow. Lord knows where I'm going to get it from, but uh, I did not think this through. Okay, he's deck searching. That does at least mean he's got nothing useful. On the other hand, he can just start hitting me in the face, which is somewhat inconvenient. <sighs> right, okay, let's start searching the deck. Hope I can get something useful. Novice Engineer. What do I have? An Ogre Mage. Well, let's pull out the totem again, see if it gets something useful. No, it doesn't. Ugh! I'm going to have to sacrifice the panther, aren't I? I can't let him get any more momentum up. Annoying. Very, very annoying. Die. Not a good trade. Not a good trade at all. On the other hand, at least he will have to blow a bit of effort 
clearing the decks. <sighs> or maybe he won't. God damn. I did not pack nearly enough torts into this deck. So at least it gives me a turn to respite. Now, if I have an Iron Beak Owl at my disposal, which I don't, so... We'll pull out a Silver Moon Guardian, since I know that will survive one turn. Now we could Totem again. In fact, I probably ought to. He'll just beat it down with the Dark Iron and the Imp, although that would be a two-for-one trade. Hmm. Yes, let's Totem up again. Another thing. Or he could just go for the end run and just start beating me in the face. Neither of these are a good option. What are my other alternatives? I've got four in the deck. That would take the Frost Wolf up to 8-8. Eight, eight. Okay, he's just going for the end run at this stage. Fine by me. What are you going to do with your taunt, I wonder? What else has he got in reserve? Something horrible, no doubt. Oh, great. Well, at least he fried his own dwarf and the imp in the process. I do now, however, have to get rid of a rather awkward set of creatures. So, let's run the wolf rider into his taunt to get rid of it. And then I think we'll search the deck again. Okay, right, so if I can survive one turn, which is by no means guaranteed, I can get rid of his Abyssal. If. And then I can go on my own Blitz with the Ravenholt and the Frostwolf. If I survive. If, 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 if. This is a very, very big if. So next time we'll pull out the Violet Teacher and the Hex. Get rid of that Abyssal, get me a 1-1-er, one, one, uh, whatever the balls that is, a 3-5. Oh great, he's just going to ramp up his adventure and go for the kill. Uh, okay, so that's two damage there. Now is he just going to go for endgame with the Abyssal? Yes he is, and here comes another bit of damage. Four damage, discard random card. Right, so I now need to deck clear very quickly. Put simply, at this point, what I need is either a taunt or a way of getting rid of this quest adventure, and I don't have either. So we will pull out taunt, just get rid of the frog, and then we are going to have to take a bit of a gamble and see what the totem gives us. Please be taunt. Why does this never ever work for me? Works for everyone else. Ugh. Anyhow, smack that. And he is then just going to beat me in the face with the Argent. Sorry, the questing adventurer. Not that he needed to, since I had no way of killing it. Anyhow, let's get this over with. End turn. Ye gods, what a mess. Ugh! Not enough taunts. Not enough taunts in this deck at all. Ancestral healing has not shown up. That would have saved me. Dice gods are hating me on the totems. Funny how that never ever seems to work the other way around. Uh, uh, mutter, mutter, curse. Right, third of three, most likely. Ladies and gentlemen, this episode will be entitled How Not to Play a Shaman. Uh, right. How bad could it be? Another warlock! Oh, God. Your soul shall be mine. What have I got? Totemic Might, Bloodlust. Well, that's all completely useless. Swap them out. Let's hope I actually get something useful. Will I? Um, no. Okay, so. Light Warden, turn one. 
Not a great opener because you really need heals to get ramped up, but... Okay, they have nerfed blimps, thankfully. Since it's now a nil one. Okay, so we'll pull out the... Light Warden and just get things going. He's stealth. Fortunately, these are no longer quite as powerful. It used to be one health to every minion. So that turned them into a particularly nasty combination, particularly when you remember that there were... Pull you out, hopefully I have cow. Run into Gul'dan. Particularly when you remember that they, you could have two of them in the deck, so you potentially had four or five health tags running around on turn one. Or two. Oh great, he's amped up five. Where's my IMB cow? He's not showing up. Most inconsiderate. Okay, whenever a minion dies, gain plus one attack. Let's run it into that to start with. And then smack. Gul'dan again. We could coin out and get the Divine Shield into play. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to do that. So let's face it, at this stage, I've really got nothing to lose. So let's just stage up on the Blitz. I'm giving him too many one attack creatures to work with, unfortunately. So he is going to be able to abuse this to ramp up his hand a little. Like so. Right, okay. And he's boosted to 3-3. Three, three. Okay, options, options, options. The ghoul... <sighs> this is not a great position to be in. The ghoul, I can run into the Acolyte of Pain and then follow it up with the... Argent Squire, but that will give him two extra cards, despite only giving me the one attack. On the other hand, that would give it a 3-3. Three, three. I just don't want to hand him that many options in the hand. On the other hand, I'd have to do a two-for-one trade anyway to get rid of the Fairy Dragon, since I've not had my s Silences turn up. So, let's just go for that. So, one and... Okay, I lose the Divine Shield there. That's not a massive deal. Okay, four mana left. Let's pull out the Blood Fen Raptor and Toten up before running the Light Warden. You've guessed it, into Gul'dan. So we are done. Why? What does it take to get a tanking totem in this game? Right. An Iron Beak Owl. I need an Iron Beak Owl. Now I need two of them. Or a torch. So there we go, mutual wipe out there. That could have been worse. However, he does then boost his taunt somewhat, which is a little awkward. So, three attack. <sighs> okay, let's pull out the jungle panther. Totem up, see what comes out. Okay, I withdraw my earlier comments. That's turned up at exactly the right moment. Unfortunately, I would have to trade off most of my creatures to get through his defences at this point. <sighs> On the other hand, I do need to clear the decks a little. So let's run the Suicide Totem into him. So that's one. And... We will hold off for the rest. In fact, we're going to pull out Totemic Might at this point. If he's got something like Hellfire at his disposal, he can just wipe the place out. So let's suicide off the 1-1s. One and we'll leave it there, because that clears the deck a little. He can wipe out the Stone Skin with the Reaper, but if I get an Owl or something similar, I can basically take the text off my own Ancient Watcher and just charge him with it. Or I can... <laughs> it's time for a little blood. You get. Well, that was expected. Okay, Ancestral Healing. That is... 
utterly useless at this stage, so... Do, 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 do. Let's yoink out the ogre magi. Run the trade there. No win through, you couldn't get the mileage. And then smack the raptor down a bit and totem up again. What do we have? Another taunt totem. Excellent, my luck might actually be turning. So he's got to go for that. One, three, one, two, two. If I totemic might it up, that may help a little. In fact, let's go for it. So that's now up to four health. So he can't now kill that without some spell assistance or charge minion. And more to the point, it won't trigger the enrage on the Amani Berserker. What are you going to do? One damage to all our guys. Oh, great! So he triggers his own enrage. Well, at least I'm the right thing in getting rid of that card. Give all minions three attack this turn. Now it turns up. I could have used that last turn, damn it. Okay. We will wipe the Mogoshan to get rid of it. Pull out the Silver Moon Guardian. So it's now got Divine Shield. Totem up. What do we have? Perfect taunts. So that'll soak at least one of them. I'll still have to worry about this Abyssal, however. So let's take the... Let's take you up to talk. See what happens. And then turn. Getting very short on cards at this point. Mountain Giant shows up. I'm going to have a horrid time play. Oh, no. Okay, here comes the Blitz. Right, so he will just charge down the... No? Okay, so they've basically gone for the kill there. That's max that. Okay, and that's most of his hand disposed of. Right, well, we'll pop out the Engineer, search the deck quickly. Like so. So I could Earth Shock the... Amani Berserker away. Which is an option. Or I could silence it to get rid of the summoning port and to basically take that out of the game. So... We'll totem up. Spell damage plus one. Okay, so now killing the Abyssal is actually a practical option. So that's what we'll do. So, then we'll hit his summoning portal in the face, so that takes his logistics chain out, and at that point we're out of options. Okay, so I am probably going to lose my Ogre Mage, and maybe my Watcher if he realises that I'm sitting on a silence. Another deck search blast. Okay, what am I... Okay, so that's my ogre gone. Fair enough, I saw that one coming. And then he's just probably going to go for the beatdown. Oh, he's got his own ancient watcher. Terrific. Right, I still don't have enough to work with here. So, I am going to Bloodlust. Do that in the wrong sequence, since I should have had the Wolf Rider out first. Get rid of his Amani. Get rid of his Argent Commander. And get rid of his Drake. So, mutual wipeout, and I have an edge, or at least I would have if I hadn't gone. Uh, I need a. Where are my silences? I have multiple silences in this deck! Ugh! What else is he going to come up with? A flesh-eating ghoul. Well, he's limited by the fact that he has to get everything into plague. And on the other hand, he does have cards. 
So he can just go for a beatdown. Where is my owl? Another framimp. Framimp? Flamimp. Oh, and a 4 5 Yeti. Great. Um. <laughs> oh, God. Isn't even a taunt. Ye gods. Yeah, this is a problem with synergistic cars. If the wrong card doesn't show up, or rather the right card doesn't show up, it's still the wrong card. You are totally and utterly stuffed. Okay, so imp into the ghoul. No, nope. drain life into the ghoul. Battle boost is ghoul up here. Out comes the Vegco Mosso. He. Oh come on! I'd have run the Yeti into the Ancient Watcher just for the boost. Great. Okay, what are my options? Um, absolutely none. Okay, so if I hex the Venture Mercenary, that is going to be one, five, eight, eleven balls. What to do? What a pisser. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Usual. This is why this series is entitled Scrub of the Arena. Three games, three losses. That was presumably a bad, bad idea of a deck concept. Big gods. Right, let's find out what the booby prize for a shaman is if you win nothing in the arena. Okay. Come yeah, on, well, let's get this done. What's it going to unlock? Oh, you still get two prizes. What have I got? A deck of cards and 25 dust. Well, it could have been worse. Ladies and gentlemen, if nothing else, I hope you are the wiser for this demonstration of staggering ineptitude. I am Yosrael, that has been the scrub of the arena with the shaman, and I'm never doing that again. Farewell.